Jersey Sports Zone's wrestling coverage is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Buckle up for one of the biggest duels of the year in the Garden State. Bergen Catholic has dominated Bergen County in recent years. They're riding a 67 match win streak against county competition. St. Joe's comes to Oradell looking to snap the streak. The Green Knights haven't defeated Bergen Catholic since back in 1998. There's not an empty seat in the house. The match begins at 120 pounds and Bergen Catholic sets the pace. Brian Melamute reverses Vincent Pano on his way to a 4-2 decision. At 126 pounds, BC's Noah Kochman hits a five-point move in the first period on James Sloan. That sets Kochman up for an eventual 7-1 decision win. Bergen Catholic opens up with a 6-0 lead. Joes gets on the board at 132. Don Almeida has an explosive third period and puts up a 13-5 major on Riley Halal. The Green Knights make it a 6-4 match. We go to 138 pounds next. August Hibbler has a single leg high and tight. Hibbler scores the takedown on Matteo Sagambaloni in the first period. Hibbler wins 7-1. Bergen Catholic leads 9-4. Now we've got a good one at 144 pounds. Bergen Catholic's Ryan Ford placed seventh in the state and 132 last season. He faces New Jersey newcomer Giannis Charles. Charles is lightning quick. He beats a buzzer with the takedown in the first period. And late in the third period, Charles closes out the bout with a textbook double. Giannis Charles continues to make quite the impression. He wins 6-3 and Joes only trails by two team points. But Bergen Catholic picks up nine points over the next two weights. Joes forfeits 150, and then Aiden Wallace tilts his way to a 9-3 decision on Frank DeBella. The Crusaders open up to their biggest lead of the night and lead 18-7 exactly halfway through the match. But things change at 165. St. Joe's Ryan Burton scores two on Eric Brody. Burton wins 10-0 to make it 18-11. Now to 175. It's Rocco Delegata on bottom. Bergen Catholic's Justin Onello on top. This kicks off the second period. Delegata gets the escape to take a 1-0 lead. Then Delegata takes that one-point lead into the third period, and he rides Justin Onello out. He will capture a huge win over a state medalist from last year. Joes now trails by four. We're at 18-14. Out comes Michael Delegata at 190 pounds, and he was impressive. It was takedown after takedown for Delegata against Pantaleo Varga. Michael Delegata wins by tech fall 20-5 in just under six minutes. That's five more points for Joes. They now lead 19-18. This is now a huge match at 215 pounds. Bergen Catholic's AJ Friccioni faces SJR's Aiden Schlett. We're tied 1-1 in overtime. Friccioni, the Penn State commit, shoots. Schlett stuffs it, and he counters with the single leg. Both wrestlers are jostling for position, and then Aiden Schlett locks in a bear hug. It's tight. Down goes Frigioni for the takedown. The St. Joe's bench erupts as Aiden Schlitt breaks it wide open. A monster takedown from Schlitt makes it four straight wins for Joes. They now lead 22 to 18, and the Green Knights have all the momentum. Now we go up to heavyweight, and it's time for who else but Jimmy Mullen. Mullen facing Benjamin Chu. Here he picks the knee in the second period. Mullen's got the takedown. Then watch as Jimmy Mullen eases up before striking again. He throws Shu to his back. Mullen smells blood in the water. He's got to readjust, but the pin comes in three minutes, 16 seconds. And wouldn't you know, it's career win number 100 for Jimmy Mullen. A special moment here effectively seals the deal. St. Joe's splits the final two bouts and they win big in Ordell. 34-21 is the final. 
the Green Knights won six of the final seven bouts. A big momentum swing from 165 pounds up broke Bergen Catholic's long streak. It's the Green Knights' first win over the Crusaders in 25 years. When you think about a high school atmosphere and you want a high school duel, this is what it is, Bergen Joe's. You get that crowd, everyone's rooting for everyone. It's just dogfight every single match, no matter who it is. You're working for bonus points, you're working to just fight off your back, you're working just to get the win. Every single thing matters, and I'm just so proud of my team, and they've trusted their hearts out. And to get that 100th win on Bergen Catholic, it was just a moment I would never forget. Yeah, I felt that all the way. Mike, uh, he got his tech, and he's been pushing me all week. Mike, Jimmy too, Rocco, every day in practice, they push me. And like today, we just we just brought that energy, and I felt that going into that match, so it was great. You know, you look at Michael and you look at Jimmy; those two guys. You know, they're 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 that's the backbone of our team. And you know, I always count those guys as a win. And you know, most of the time, you count Jimmy as a pin and Michael as a pin. So as we're looking at the score, trying to figure out how we're going to climb back in, you know, you're doing the math on who's going to win, who who's the swing match, and you know, those guys came out and they you know they they did what they were supposed to do for us. Reporting from Oradell, I'm Jay Cook. JerseySportsZone.com